Hey everybody, Dan here. Today I want to do a video on how to make a beam system and put some floor joists into a house or townhome, whatever you want. So I'm going to open up the floor plan and this, this is what it looks like when it's done. And I'm going to just come over here and do a different one because I already did that one. Now, Normally, I'd probably just copy and paste it to all the units if they're the same, but for the sake of the video, let's see how to do it. Uh, I want to come up here and click on structure and then you go to beam system. And this way, you can put beams evenly spaced throughout your house and you can change spacing and whatnot, do whatever you need to make everything work. So, come over to properties. What you want to do is you want to draw the outline of where you want your beams. And I'm going to just use the pick line tool. I like that one. So, I'm just going to do the inside of this town home here. And then Use TR, that's a keyboard shortcut to trim um, your lines, make everything match up. Now, you notice one of these lines has got a couple extra weird lines next to it. What that's showing it is your span direction or your beam direction, whatever you call it. Anyways, I don't want my beams going this way. I want them to be going the short way because I can't really find many beams that long when I go to build it. So I want to click on beam direction up here. And I'm going to just click this line. Any line that's in the direction you want the beams to be. Now, before you click OK, what I would do is come over here and figure out where you want it. Looks like it's on the first floor. And I'm just going to leave the elevation at zero. So it'll be right on the first floor. And the spacing is one foot four or 16 inches. That sounds good to me. Maybe I'll do 24 inches just for fun. Beam type, that's showing up a W shape beam. And I actually want a web joist or I joist. And I want the 11 and 7, 8. So now I've got that one loaded and change the distance should be able to just click the green button there and there it's got them so you can kind of tell the difference maybe between the 16 inch on center and the 24 and you can go in and adjust it you just go back over here anyways so if i go to my 3d view that's my 16s that i did earlier and let's see oh we're having fun okay there it is so these ones here those are the ones i just did and as you can see they're just right on the bottom the uh walls would sit right on top there and there you go that's just kind of a quick video on how to put some beams into a building